fucking cold right now, the thought of it. When I say spider, I can't move. My heart stops, I can't move for hours afterwards. I can't touch anything, I can't think about anything else. Every time I touch something, I just have to drop it, the thought of it. Right now, I've just walked into, into coming to do this and I'm already starting to sweat and I'm already starting to breathe really fast. But I, th I think, you know, I'm almost 50, it's got to the stage where I just think this is ridiculous, I've got to do something to try to conquer this fear. If I can catch a spider and release it, I will be so blown away by being able to do that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to just being able to be around them and not have to worry about them moving. Um, they stop me from going to places where they might be. Um, they, I can't relax at home, I can sit for hours just looking to see if there's a spider near me and I've got a little two year old and it's starting to impact on me being around her and her starting to develop a fear of them as well. I've gone cold already. <laughs> I've got goosebumps everywhere. No, I don't particularly like them at all. I'm always checking, I'm always looking up at the ceiling before I go to bed and sometimes I always think there's one in my ear when I'm like to pick one up and move it from my house into the garden. That's what I'd really like to achieve. I'm actually shaking inside. <laughs> I'm really nervous as well. So I'm really scared of spiders. <laughs> I wouldn't like physically hold one, but I would like to Not try yet. it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So we'll see at the end of the workshop what happens. Yeah. After the workshop I'll probably put my fear at about a five or a six because not only have I managed to hold a tarantula, that wasn't a big deal really for me personally, it was the starting off by holding a house spider in a perspex box terrified me, then moving on to the catching a house spider and being able to release it I thought was amazing but I never ever thought that I'd actually be able to hold a a house spider in my hand and I've done that. Now I'll probably never do that again but it's certainly given me the confidence today to be able to go away and try to catch a house spider. Today I arrived at Chesterton World of Adventures. I came in as a level 8 out of 10 of being afraid of spiders but now I would rate myself a 1 out of 10 and I've really come a long way because I've held a tarantula and a house spider. Um, I, when I first came here, um, I was on the scale of eight for the fear of spiders. Um, after going through everything today in a group session, I now feel I'm at a zero. I actually was able to hold a house spider, whereas I would freak out even looking at one, to be quite fair. Um, and I held it twice, and I actually want to hold it again. And I now want to go home and look for spiders purposely so that I can actually hold them now. Whereas before, I would definitely freak out. I came today because I thought my my response to whenever I saw a spider was absolutely ridiculous. I didn't know how much I was going to get out of it. My best case scenario was the fact that I felt confident enough to be able to go and capture a house spider, and I do feel that. And I also know that there's that support mechanism behind me, so that. If I don't feel that confident, I can always contact Britain and ask for sort of just a little top-up session with a house spider so that I can actually get up close and personal. So yeah, actually I really would recommend it. I think it's been really, really useful having the mixture of sort of the hypnotherapy and the coping mechanisms plus the immersion side of you having to get really close to spiders. I mean, don't suffer in fear. Like, I've been, I've been, it's been pretty bad for the last three or four years for me and I just think why didn't I do this ages ago and it can work from everyone. <laughs>